Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? At Planet Fitness, getting ready to go get my workout in. Um, um, I did when I did my oh, I got my got my results for my second breast exam. Everything is fine. Um, they said it was a little calcium in my breast, but that's no, normal, and you know, it's nothing to be alarmed about. No lumps or anything. So, remember, I, I was talking about I was a little scared. Well, everything's going to be fine. So that's great. Anyway, but remember when I asked you guys about the ketogenic diet um, in my one video? Um, I actually tried it for three days, and um, I was been doing a lot of research and everything, and watching a lot of videos on it, and um, a lot of things that I was already eating, um, a lot of things that's in that diet I was already eating. Um, I, I said I'll try it for three days to see how it do me and see how I like it, but. The issue that I'm having with it, they, they're saying that you can't have, now when I first started my cutting back, um, when I first started cutting back, I was working with a dietitian. My dietitian said that um, strawberries and blueberries was the best fruit for me to eat because they're the lowest in sugar. So, but this ketogenic diet, they're saying you shouldn't eat strawberries. They're saying you shouldn't eat any fruit. And... They're saying, then they're saying that you shouldn't have um, oatmeal. You know, well, oatmeal was kind of like a staple in my diet. Do I eat it every day? No, I don't. But um, I have an issue. I don't think I want to go without eating oatmeal. Um, um, and then I have, I have a little bit of a problem with increasing the fat in my diet because I've over this past year. Or a few months it hasn't quite been a year I've been I've been accustomed to low carb low sugar and low fat and I took I, I, I cut pork drastically out of my diet I cut I cut beef drastically out of my diet um, just mainly focusing on chicken fish and turkey and now they're saying that you know um, it's okay to have bacon and they're saying that you should eat all this fat um, you know and that includes the healthy fats too but now the three little the little three days I did it, um, I was having a little bit of a problem increasing the fat because the um, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to eating all that fat, so I actually literally don't know what to do because at the you know when I was doing it because I'm like okay I'm not used to eating all this fat um, because this is like what I've been doing over the past few months. I got used to doing that, but the thing is I started out on 60 grams of carbs per meal plus 15 grams per snack my body got accustomed to that and my, I don't think that's working for me anymore so I did that's one of the reasons why I was kind of interested in the keto diet because I was like when well, I need to cut my carbs more I need to start cutting my carbs and my dietitian did mention that um, I was I was going to be needing to cut my carbs some more um, because the 60 grams per meal is not working for me anymore I think my body got adjusted to it and you know, um, it's kind of slowed down my weight loss. So I decided that I needed to cut my carbs more. And so that's why I was kind of interested in the keto diet. But I just don't think it's, I don't know if it's a diet for me. Because I don't know if it would be a good idea for me to eat all that fat. And um, I'm not used to eating a lot of fat. And um, I don't know. I just, and there's certain things that I was already eating. They're saying, I, you know, that is you shouldn't eat like cutting oatmeal out cutting fruit out well i like my strawberries and blueberries you know so i have a, i have an issue with that you know and um every now and then now some people saying they now um, i read i was looking at a video and they were saying there was different levels to the keto um and so some people eat 30 grams of carbs some people eat zero carbs um you know i, I like a little carb you know here and there so, and that was another reason why I was like, well, I don't know if it's for me because I like to eat a little bit of carb. You know, sometimes I have like to have a little bit of popcorn. Um, um, well, I did cut my bread out because I was eating um, four pieces. Initially, I started out eating four pieces of whole grain bread a day. Two for breakfast, two for lunch. That was because I was on the 60 grams per meal. When I decided to cut that down to two pieces of bread a day. Now I'm not eating the bread anymore. I cut the bread out of my diet. I was eating baked potatoes. I don't eat baked potatoes. Now I do meat and vegetables for dinner. So I have cut my carbs. 
Um, but I just don't know. But I don't want to cut them out completely. I'm just, and I don't, I have an issue with increasing the fat. So, um, that, you know, guys, let me know in the comment section if you're doing this diet, how's it doing you? I just don't know if it's the diet for me. You know, I think that I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I should just continue doing what I've been doing, cutting sugars, carbs, and fats, but I'm cutting my carbs down lower. Then, and then my dietitian hinted around that I should do that anyway. So, um, but I just don't know if this keto diet is for me. I don't. I have an issue with. Incre I don't want to. I don't know if I want to increase my fat. And then something that we were talking about in intermittent, intermittent. Uh, I don't know if I said fasting. I don't know if that's healthy because if you don't eat anything, my dietitian told me not to skip any meals. Because you skip any meals, you know it can mess with your metabolism. So how is that fasting, intermittent fasting, good for you? Like some of the people on this keto diet do this intermittent, what they call it, fasting. I don't know if that's healthy either. So don't know if it's the diet for me. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, cutting my carbs and um, sugars and um, fat, exercising. Um, I'm just going to keep on, with, on track with what I'm doing and stick with that you know let me know in the comment section what you think you know if you guys are doing this diet let me know what you know if how it's working for you I also think it's for everybody I don't know if it's gonna be for me uh, I got some more interesting video topics coming up this is sweet June